Good evening, folks. We covered this story Sunday, March 19th in the morning show, and a number of emails have come in asking about it. A lot of the focus on the story was how the South Atlantic anomaly is not a permanent feature, but a symptom of the ongoing secular variation. But the questions were about the timeline of the study, the NOAA event I referenced, and the quiet period of the study, specifically asking about the evidence for geomagnetic variation during that NOAA event 6,000 years ago in the period just before the quiet period in the study. Little sneak peeks from our upcoming book. The event 6,000 years ago isn't on the geomagnetic variation list or the Heinrich event list, but it should be. This is a compilation of paleo intensity measurements showing the strength of the field. And the first thing that should jump out is the variability to the curves and to the dating process in general. If this chart extended back a few thousand years more to 12,000 years ago, off to the right, we would see a drop down at the Gothenburg geomagnetic event. And on the left, we see the descent into the modern geomagnetic event. The half cycle at 6,000 years ago is a lesser event, but it's clearly showing up in the records as a dip, even if the dating methods don't agree, never have, and never will. The range covers a broader minimum centered around 6,000 years ago. This matches the volcanic evidence from that period, and also the tropical hydroclimate event, the greenest of the green Saharan episodes, the interglacial version of a Heinrich or Dansgaard Oeschger event, and with the solar forcing to match the cycle in what is now officially called the solar Heinrich Bond cycle. The quiet period studied in this paper is the one that immediately followed the NOAA event, and the fact that the quiet began right after the expected NOAA event speaks further to the lack of quiet during the NOAA event. Remember, they recognize these events at every 6,000 years into the past, but not the one 6,000 years ago. It doesn't look like the previous ones, which happened during glacial conditions, but we can still pick it out when we look at geomagnetism, volcanoes, and global paleoclimate data. This is the NOAA event, the half cycle event 6,000 years ago, and the full cycle setting a new age is what we are awaiting now. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.